So the year ends with the sacrifice that our grandfather Ibrahim salam, he made. He had to sacrifice his beloved son. 30 days ago we were remembering that. And he cut his son but the knife did not cut. But his heart broke. He pulled it again. It didn't cut but his heart broke. After 70 times he threw the knife away and the knife sliced open a rock. It was so sharp. The event that happened is very important. And the Awliya Allah, they're remembering that event even in the day of Ashura. And the year begins with the sacrifice of the most beloved ones, beloved ones. Do you understand how extreme this is? They have to go through what kind of test they have to go through. What? You think we belong to the nation of the most praised one just by name? Ibrahim alayhi salam pulled that 70 times. More than 70 times that night pulled on the Ahlul Bayt. Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he sacrificed his grandson. Hazrat Hussein with Hazrat Hussein's sons. Of course, in it were also children of Hazrat Hassan. They were also there. Other supporters, they were also there. And they were sacrificed. Allah is showing those ones who are calling themselves Ahlil Bayt and loving them for the sake of Allah. When they are overpowered, when they are outnumbered, when they are weak, when there is no support, what is it that you must do? Put aside Yazid. Everyone is just concentrating on Yazid. Yazid didn't betray him. There were thousands who betrayed him. Yazid acted according to his egoistic nature. He didn't make a promise and broke his promise. He was true to his own evil self. But there were tens of thousands who made a promise to the grandson of the Holy Prophet and they betrayed him. Why did they betray him? So many they betrayed him even before they got to Karbala because Yazid was promising them dunya. So the followers of the Prophet or those who claim that they love the family of the Prophet what do you do when you do not have power? Do you betray? Do you give in? Do you give up? As Shaykh Effendi said, don't forget, the one who betrayed Hazrat Hassan and poisoned him too, his own wife, once post. She was also promised dunya by Yazid. And Allah is showing Ahlil Bayt and the lovers of Ahlil Bayt, what do you do when you are oppressed, when you have no power? Do you give in? Do you give up? Do you fight for your right? What was Hazrat Hussein doing? Was he going somewhere to declare Hilafat? As so many are saying. He was doing exactly what his grandfather والسلام, did. What was that? Hijra. He says, I will find somewhere where his power and his reach is not going to be there and I'll sit with my family and I'll worship until I die. He was making hijrah. To worship, not to challenge. You leave not for something better that the world is seeing, you leave so that you have the freedom to worship. And if you are pursued, as the Holy Prophet says, in the Ahir Zaman, what is going to happen? As our Shaykh Andy went through that sunnah, what is that? If they come to attack you, you don't even have 
that power and that right to defend yourself. And the Sahabi Kiram says, what if they come to attack you in your own home? And he says, it is better to be a martyr than a murderer. Don't give in. The victory of Hussein, Hazrat Lari is that and his family, they did not give in. They did not give up. They stayed true to their belief, to their lifestyle. And when it was not accepted, they went somewhere else. And when they were pursued to be killed, they could not even defend themselves. That is a lesson for us. We are not asking for this, but we must take lesson. Because right now, we are not the ones who's being tested, but there are millions of Muslims in this world right now that they are being tested because of their faith. And they're being sacrificed every day. They're watching their fathers and their mothers, their daughters and their sons and their babies being sacrificed. And they did not give in. We have not experienced Karbala yet. They have. Not one or two, millions of Muslims right now. Think. Look at your sons and your daughters. Look at your wives. Look at your husbands. And think. If the time comes that they are going to put a gun to my head and says, leave all of this and we'll give you the best of this world. If you don't, you'll watch them die. What are we going to do? May Allah not test us, but don't run away from that reality. Because we are going to be tested. Dajjal is going to come to test that even those ones who are buried, they are going to be tested too. And they're going to find it difficult. The year ends with a sacrifice and the year begins with a sacrifice. Believer must put two and two together, what happened yesterday to today, what happened next year. May Allah keep us safe. Those ones who are not holding on to a guide, not holding on to the Holy Prophet not holding on to how to prepare themselves with Hazrat Mahdi you're going to lose out very heavily. You're going to be punished very heavily. May Allah forgive me. May Allah keep us strong, inshallah. May Allah make our faith to be simple. May Allah not make us to become weak to give in. May Allah raise the station of our Shaykh. May his support reach to us to support us, inshallah. Wa min Allah al-Fatiha.